In today's video, we're going to be taking that 22 caliber air gun and seeing if each of these four pellets pattern differently. Now, a couple weeks ago, I posted this video right here. I was planning to go squirrel hunting with my air gun, and it just wouldn't work. It could not hold a group better than three inches at about 35 yards and that's nowhere near good enough to kill a squirrel in that video i asked you guys you know tell me what i'm doing wrong if i'm doing anything wrong because i really couldn't figure out what i was doing wrong from my point of view i wasn't doing anything wrong i was using quality pellets the gun was pumped up to its sweet spot i was on a good steady rest there was no wind. The scope's on tight. We tried different pressures. We literally tried everything from a consistency standpoint and still couldn't get consistent groups. Now, whenever I say this, I'm not kidding. Nine out of 10 comments on that video were saying you need to try different pellets. Some air guns, for some reason, like different pellets better than others. It's almost like every air gun likes its own different kind of pellet and you don't really know what it is until you just go try it. So that's what we're gonna be testing. I have four different kinds of pellets right here. They're all 22 caliber. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pump this gun up to 1500 PSI before I shoot each pellet. That way the pressure is consistent throughout the test. I'm gonna be shooting the same range, same distance, same gun rest, same gun, all that stuff. Nothing is going to change except the pellet. So I'm going to pump up the gun to 1500 PSI, shoot three of these. Pump it up to 1500 PSI, shoot three of these. And we're just going to see which one patterns the best, if any of them, and if one does better than the other. First things first, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and pump it up to 1500 PSI to start with. I'm not even going to move the gun to do this. I'm literally going to leave it on the rest and then jump up on the table to air it up. That way, there's no way I can knock it off. Or at least a whole lot less likely to. It should be able to stand on the table. If not, oh, this table may be going down. Anyways, I'm just going to pump it up to 1500. All right, there we go. Now, even though this gun is capable of holding up to 2000 PSI, and shoot all the way down to like 800 PSI. I'm still gonna set it at 1500 because some of you guys in the comments said that air guns have a sweet spot right in the middle of their pressure capacity. Now that it's full of air, let me go show you the box so that y'all know what I'm talking about and you guys can see what we're shooting. All right, this is what I'm shooting at. We're 35 yards away. I have poked four little holes in the cardboard and they are pretty evenly spaced. Now, if we, for some reason, we get groups that's really stretching over here and getting confusing, that, that's not the pellet we want. That's as far as we need to know, okay? What I'm looking for here is from an air gun, 35 yards away, I want to group it no more than that like an inch if i got one stretching way over here that's already like a three four inch group that one's definitely off the table but i'm just gonna be shooting these right here i'll start at the right shoot my three pellets shoot my three pellets shoot my three pellets shoot three pellets and then we'll come and you know compare the results let's just get to it i'm gonna shoot all four pellets and then we'll come down and look at the results all at the same time i don't want to run back and forth the whole time all right but here we go all right let's get going adjust this thing to where i'm gonna be shooting dead on even if i don't even touch the gun pretty much i mean these things are these things are really cool if you don't have one of these and you do a lot of shooting you might want to get one because you can really dial in yeah you can really get the most out of your gun with this thing because you pretty much take you out of the equation get the heck out of here dude. I don't know what that was but he got the smoke all right we should be locked in pretty good right here first pellets we're starting off is the pellets i used in the last video these right here daisy 22 caliber pellets it's it says it's premium grade precision max i don't know about that dude they were shooting oh my goodness i don't even want to get started but apparently some pellet guns especially pcps that are stronger and stuff apparently they like a lot heavier pellets better because think about it even in real guns we do know that heavier ammo shoots more true okay it's less likely to get knocked off by wind and just air resistance and stuff like that let's go ahead and shoot these three i'm gonna hold right on that dot if i need to i can always adjust this so okay reload send another one down i gotta go show you guys the target this that's that's wow that is remember he's boys and here's the weird thing though i would tell you don't go buy these but at the same time apparently it's just my air gun that doesn't like them your air gun might really like these i don't know but i have heard from a lot of people that daisy pellets are like literally garbage so just saying here's a close-up of them and let me show you how great they are let me just say this 
The reason I'm walking up to the target now instead of shooting them all four and then walking up like I planned is because it actually messed them up. Okay, long story short, I was aiming over here and it messed up our entire target board and hit way over here. Regardless, our pattern is one, two, three. That is a solid two in. And I just want to say this, if we had slung more pellets, I think our group would have just widened up. Not only is it off target, which doesn't matter that much, but the grouping is what does matter. That's terrible. The reason I wanted to walk you guys up here is because now I'm going to have to shoot this next pellet over here because the first pellet decided to just run over here and do that. I don't know, guys. I don't like that pellet. I don't like it. Imagine if I would went squirrel hunting with that. That's terrible. But don't let me jump the gun right here. We've not tested the other pellets. It might be a bad gun i don't know that yet but one thing's for sure that gun with those pellets that ain't it chief let's keep shooting and see if anything gets better oh my gosh there's that little creature that kept trying to get me a second ago apparently i didn't get there he is Did you see oh he's on me he's on me oh there he is there he is there he is i ain't got a clue what that thing is he's about to get the smoke again son he thinks it's his gun it ain't brother mine let me see what i got back here in the defender i got the ak i think that's a little overkill for a bug i got this thing i may have to use it i got the machete but i don't think i need that about to knock the brakes off this guy I knocked the brakes off of him. Yeah, he did. You did now, son. Get the heck away from my gun. What even is that? I cut him in two. He deserved it. He did. All right, now let's pump this bad boy back up to 1500 PSI. And you may be saying, KG, you may have just, you know, knocked the gun off. You just beat it over the head with a bag. Maybe. You know, that's a good point. But I think we'll be all right. Let's just pump this right back up to 1500 and then we'll move on from there. There we go. We're right back at 1500. Next pellet we are going to shoot are these right here. I don't know what they are. They don't have a brand on them, or at least they don't anymore. But I'm sure that if they shoot good enough, some of y'all can tell me what they are. They might be gamo. I'm not exactly sure, but they do have a really pointy tip. Some of y'all said that pointy tips, even though they look good, aren't actually very aerodynamic. So their ballistic coefficient, which is how good something flies through the air, is bad. But once I thought about that, I was like, you know what? Elon Musk did say something about that. Maybe I didn't fully understand understand him because I'm not a rocket science but it seems like I did hear him say that pointy rockets don't fly as good as round rockets. Now is this rocket science? That is. This is just an air gun. Anyways let's shoot this dang group see if we can get even better. Okay. Alright just from looking at it this one's definitely you know on target better. Let's see if it can group. Okay okay. From what I can see through the scope not bad not bad. We're looking at a pretty decent group. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Like I was saying, we'll go back later and actually check it out. I'm gonna pump this bad boy back up and we'll go back out there and we'll keep shooting three more bullets. Next, we're moving on to these right here. These are Gamo Match. These are not pointy on the front. On the other hand, these are actually quite flat. They're blunted. Now, I don't know. I've never shot much like these. I've never really shot a ton of pellets in the first place, but I've definitely never shot none that's flat. Maybe they'll shoot better. I don't know. Maybe they're heavier. One thing about heavier versus lighter pellets, and with everything moving heavier versus lighter, is that lighter bullets and pellets usually do move faster, which gives gravity less time to pull them down. So generally, lighter bullets will travel faster and drop less. But when you think about it, at a certain point, too light is too light. Eventually, if you're throwing a ping pong ball as hard as you can, the wind and air resistance is just going to take it over and it's just going to start flying out. But if you take a big heavy baseball, you may not be able to throw it as far. Actually, that's not true. I mean, baseballs are heavier harder to throw but at least they stay straight and don't fly up like a ping pong ball that's a theory i'm just pointing that out whether that actually relates to pellets or not i don't know you tell me okay let's pump her back up and we'll use that fourth and final pellet and while i'm getting over here to show you the next pellet go down in the comments and comment below if you shoot pellet guns what caliber and what pellets do you use and if you see anybody else down there that's used the same pellets as you Say, hey, what's up? I like those pellets too. Or, hey, I tried those pellets and they don't do no good at my gun, okay? But do that, and you know, I, that way I can see what kind of pellets you guys use, and I may start trying to try some of those out. Now, the last pellets we're going to be testing are these right here. These are Crossman Premium, or Premier. I would say Yeehaw Premier, but then these, the first ones I shot also said Premium Pellets, so that's not cool. These do look shiny. These are a hollow point, but they are also rounded on the front, so we'll try them. We'll see what we can do. These do look 
look more quality because they're actually polished. I don't know if that means anything. The ones that look the best are the ones with the red tips just because they look fancy. I don't know why you'd want to put a piece of plastic into a like a three cent piece of lead, but I feel like that's probably just overkill. Putting a little red thing, don't you think? I don't know. We'll see. We're just shooting 35 yards. I mean, we ain't trying to shoot like 400 yards or anything. It's just like, it's just a BB. All right, let's go check it out. We have fired all four pellets, all with the same gun, same distance, same air pressure, same shooter. We should be good to go. Let's see what we can do. All right, so first thing we're gonna start right here. This is the first thing we shot. We was actually aiming over here, we hit over there. We've already seen these groups. Next was the second pellets. These are the ones with the little red tip. That is a sub one inch group. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. That could definitely kill a squirrel with a headshot. Next up, we have these right here. I was aiming right here, hit right there. That's actually an even smaller group. That is the flat nose one. Then right over here is the premium ones, the Crossman Premium, I believe. The group widened out a little bit, but honestly, not bad. Out of all these groups, I definitely think this one shot the best. And so I'm going to shoot that one a few more times and see how big that circle gets. And if it can handle below 1500 PSI. I don't know, boys. Let's try it out. I'll shoot two more shots of those ones. And if it can stay in that group, I think that's the pellet we hunt with because it has performed very well today. Definitely good enough to kill a squirrel. Is it better than an actual 22 long rifle? No, not yet. Maybe there's some other pellet out there which I just don't have access to right now that shoots extremely well. But for now, this is what I have to shoot and this is what I'm going to shoot because you know what man i'm just trying to kill a squirrel i don't need them to be in the same hole right now maybe if i really get into air guns i'll go out and try some more but for now if it can hold this group with these next two shots i like those pellets those are really good all right let's see all right now i'm gonna shoot two more of the shiny pellets and see how they stack up because if they stack up just as good i do have a lot more of those so i may use those all right, let's go check them out. Hey, what's up, Kanye? Okay, final five shot group at 35 yards. Right here, we're looking at that, plus one way over here. Not bad. This one right here, we're looking at that right there, plus one way over here. If we cancel out the flyers of that one and that one, those are the two groups we're looking at. Keep in mind that one of these was in the same hole that I was shooting at. So at the end of the day, that's what I'm shooting with. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with these because I do have like 450 more than the other one. Overall, that's pretty good with an air gun. And this over here, yep, that's what I was shooting. That just ain't going to cut it. That shouldn't cut it with anybody. Honestly, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. I don't care who you are. That's not good. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. This is my second channel. There's a good chance you're not subscribed. If you want to watch a full video of me actually unboxing that gun and some of the more specs and whatever, you can click right over here or right over here. For all of my second channel videos, click right down here to subscribe if you're not already. Good morning, Kanye. 